Yo, what's good, my Patreons? It's your boy, Jamie Flow, bringing y'all another Unblockable Blitz. Thank you for becoming a, one of my patrons, whatever, and subbing with the $5, and that really means a lot, but now we have the 3-4 Bear. Uh, just make sure, all right, we're going to need nobody. 3-4 Bear Cover 2 Invert. Now, I'm still going to upload Blitzes on YouTube, because a lot of people are like, oh, you just not going to upload Blitz anymore? No, but it's just like, but now I do need to give other people, like, like I, I do think some of these Blitzes that I do upload, sh like, if someone wants to pay five dollars, because it's just like some of the blitz I uploaded are so cheesy and uh, so cheesy. I'm gonna just show you how this blitz looks. Uh, I mac protect it. Y'all see, I mac protect seven people blocking. It comes in. So now I'm gonna get y'all to set up. It's a three four bear cover to invert flip the play. Most important thing, all you're gonna want to do is base a line. Uh, yeah, base a line. Pinch your D-line, crash into the middle. Shift your linebacker to the left. Re-blitz your left outside linebacker. So hit RB, left on the right stick, and that's going to re-blitz that guy. Then you're going to want to hit YY, and then hit Y again to adjust your cornerback and blitz him. So it's going to look like this, and then QB contain. That's what you want him to do. You can drag him out. It will make the blitz a lot better, but if you don't have time and your opponent is quick hiking you, then you can do whatever you want. But, like, against set, I like to run this blitz against sets like these. Like, you know, you got two by one, you got a tight end, you know, people try to watch sale. Because then it's this easy to cover. You can just shade underneath to cover the flats. And uh, you can just do that if you're really afraid that he's going to throw to that tight end. You can just watch this side and do whatever you want. Like, this is why I love this blitz so much. And y'all just see it come screaming through. And then y'all going to be like, well, Jimmy, the flats is covered. This, it's like, but like I tell you, I tell everybody all this is all about making adjustments. Like, sometimes I even send this blitz like this. And I, uh, like, this, this is how I send this blitz sometimes. And then I just come down here. And I always usually, like, hover there. So, like, if they do block a running back, sometimes it comes in like this. If they hike the ball. Uh, but most of the time, that will get picked up. But that's what I just like to do to mix into this. Because you're still sending, like, four or five people. But the setup is just base a line. You're going to pinch a D line. If your linebacker is right, re-blitz that left outside linebacker. Make sure you crash your defensive line middle. And then re-blitz this guy right here, QB contain. And the blitz is set up, you can drag him out. And it, depending on your adjustments, you can cover the flats. Like, I'm telling you, like, if y'all did something like this, uh, like, if you really thought he was doing something like that, like, because no one else can go in a flat but the tight end. So, what y'all honestly can do is... uh. You could man that linebacker up on him and him, and then you can watch the flats yourself. But it, if they don't throw to the flats, you can just watch that. And y'all see right there, we get two people free with a running back and a tight end blocking. No, he wasn't really blocking, but see, the running back was blocking. We still get two free. It, it's a real good blitz, y'all, but set up one more time. And y'all can be like, well, it takes a long time to set this up. It's This blitz is so fast to set up. Like, it's set up already. Like, that's how fast it is to set it up. And I got... Uh, but I don't always move that guy out because sometimes I don't have time. But running this blitz like this is sort of like the cover two invert from the four four. How you use it as safety. If you got good user skills, or if you don't, or if you don't want to just use it that side, you could do something like this. Like you can put that guy in a deep blue, or you could put this guy in a deep blue. So it's not like a cover three and a wide the middle of the field isn't wide open, and you can basically do whatever you want. I like to use this blitzes in situational uh, purposes. What y'all see is nothing they can do about this blitz. It comes in screaming. It's a really good blitz, really good play. Again, it, don't spam this blitz. I'm going to mention that one more time. Do not spam this blitz, y'all. Y'all got like the Buck SS and the Pinch Mike O from here. Uh, you send the heat from the right. This is just to catch your opponent off guard. Like what I usually do, what I usually do when, before I send this blitz, I will play like cover three, cover three, because it got, it, you only send in three people. And it's just basically like the uh, cover four QB contained from the three four odd. So that's how exactly how I would play this. Like, and if not, I would usually probably would do something like this. Like that's what I really would do. Honestly, so then I'm not worried about the flats. I'm just worried about the middle, and I can use it at. And y'all see, so it just comes screaming through, y'all. I'm told y'all I got y'all. 
uh, I just want to thank y'all again if y'all here and watching this video that means y'all did sub to me y'all see me getting two people free against a running back block y'all saw it coming against Mac protect it's nothing they can do about this blitz and that's Eric Berry he only got like 87 speed so a mutt or pit someone fast there and that's Tamaha Lee with 78 speed coming off the edge like I told y'all this blitz is nasty I hope y'all enjoy this but until then, it's your boy J-Mail Flow, a.k.a. Mr. Let's Get It, Let's Go.